Good morning children. Today we shall study lesson 5. India in the 6th century BC religious movement. In India the 6th century BC saw a great unrest in the mind of mankind. The Brahmanical supremacy closed the doors of religious quest to other social classes. In the changing circumstances, many people had left their homes in search of knowledge. Among them, Mahavir Swami and Gautam Buddha became very famous. Let's know about Mahavir Swami. Mahavir Swami, also known as Vardhaman or Kavalya, he was the 24th Rithankar of Jainism. Children, please note, Rishabh Dev was the founder of Jainism, but Mahavir Swami had revived the Jain Dharma. According to Mahavir Swami, the highest goal of a person's life is Kavalya or salvation, which means Jiv ki janm evam mrityu ke bandhan se mukti ya fir moksh. This salvation can be attained by observing and practicing the three ratnas. Let's see what are the three ratnas. These are right knowledge, right belief and right conduct. In order to acquire these three ratnas, one must observe the five great woes or Panch Mahavritas. The Panch Mahavritas are non-violence, truth, do not steal, do not earn money by unfair means and celibacy which means brahmacharya. The language that used by common people and for teaching was Prakriti. Further, Jainism was divided into two sects, Shwetambar and Digambar. Let, let's know one more religion that is Buddhism. Mahatma Buddha was the founder of Buddhism. He attained knowledge under the Bodhi Briksha at Gaya in Bihar. Mahatma Buddha taught us four noble truth. These are the essence of Buddha's teachings. Let us see what are the four noble truths. These are the world is full of sufferings. The cause of suffering is human desire. Sufferings can be ended by overcoming desires. The way to overcome the sufferings is Eightfold Path. Let's see what are the Eightfold Path. These are Right Belief, Right Thought, Right Speech, Right Action, Right Livelihood, Right Effort, Right Concentration and Right Meditation. According to Buddha, we can attain Nirvana by observing these Eightfold Paths. Now, what is Nirvan? Nirvan is similar to salvation or caval as in Danish, which means freedom from sufferings or moksha mukti. The language that was used during that period was Pali. After the death of Buddha, Buddhism was divided into two sects, Hinayan and Mahayan. Dear children, 
as you have learnt in your class mahavir swami and gautam buddh both were born as prince they both renounced their royal life and they both became ascetics means ye dono mahapurushon ne apni royal life chhod di aur ye tapasvi ban gaye they attained knowledge and taught the human being the art of life through their teachings that's all for today children goodbye